Hey everyone, welcome back to Team Pandori. This is Emi Chicken, and today we're going to check out the Neo Geo Mini. And this is John Luke. Check my pecs. Released in 1990, the Neo Geo was a sensation. Advertised as a 24-bit system, it dominated the arcades. While the US got the Big Red, Japan had the SC25, which is now in mini form. It's a bargain price. You can pick these up for $50 new. The control pads being a little extra. The box has six sides. The back side being my personal favorite. This is the version based off the SC25. And the unit itself comes pre-built. This little bag here is full of stickers. You get two choices of a marker at the top. An instruction manual, which is useless. A USB-C cable, branded with a Neo Geo logo. Trendy. So the blank space at the top is for the sticker. There are two small holes to the left and right for the speaker grills. Play to control the port on the right. On off switch. Mini HDMI out, headphone socket and USB-C for the power. On the left side, yet another controller port, USB-C. Let's pop on the stickers. This one's for the control panel. Lay her down by the fire sensually, then pound her senseless. Next up is the marquee. Decided to go for this one, it's a bit more authentic. In the arcade, it would display which games are playable on this cabinet. The stick itself feels like an analog stick, but the inputs won't be. It's a bit weird, but we'll see how it plays. We have coin in and start in the center, as well as the four main buttons. Bit clicky, but not bad. For power, all we need is a USB socket with five volts and one amp. I'm gonna use this portable battery. It takes this long to power up. At the top, there are three small icons help, copyright, and in the center, settings. Here we can select language from Japanese, Korean, English, Chinese, and Klingon. Worf will be happy. We can sort by genre or recently played games. And we have sliders for both brightness and volume. At high volumes on the slider, the sound can get quite harsh to the ear with little bass. With the games list, we have 40 games to flick through. You have the game title, cover art, genre, and the four circles show if you already have a safe state on that game. As we said earlier, all 40 games are in order of game genre. It's a shame to see that they did not include alphabetical order. Let's start a game. And the first thing we notice, credits at the bottom left and the bottom right. This tells us that it's using the AES version of the game. This basically means it uses the console version of the Neo Geo, which for most games will give us an option screen, a way to change difficulty, language, and button layout. The controls, while being nowhere near arcade perfect, suit the form factor very well. Pushing coin and start together gives you this in-game menu where you can save and load states and also change brightness and volume. You could save your progress with this or save settings. Here's an example, King of Fighters 98. You can hit the option screen, change difficulty to beginner, language to English, and we can save the state. If you've never played King of Fighters before, this is highly recommended. It takes a couple of minutes to get used to the stick and the same goes for the buttons too. The diagonals are quite easy to hit and holding the small stick like a nipple helps. I am very experienced. 
Outside the black border at the very edge, this screen actually looks amazing. It's the unique combination of having the perfect resolution, no bilinear filter, and a three and a half inch screen that all comes together to give us a fine and detailed video image. There is a good variation of 40 games on the Neo Geo Mini. No matter which version you get, there's not one bad game on here. The games list is solid. We tested out all 40 games, and here are some of our favorites. Samurai Spirits, very special. A fighting game with Samurai. The genuine AES card on eBay comes up to over $2,000. Garrow, Mark of the Wolves. If you like fighting games, this one should be right up your alley. King of the Monsters 2. Do you want to be a giant monster and break stuff? This one might be for you. Shock Troopers 2. This is Metal Slug from above. Top Hunter. The Neo Geo Library is not just all fighters. This one's... Alright, this one's punching too. Uh, never mind. Metal Slug. Classic game. Excellent. Yes, 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 yes. Sengoku 3. Blazing Star! Super Side Tricks! Let's take a look at one of the official Neo Geo Mini controllers. The manual is a whole two or three pages, and the pad itself comes in cardboard. Like my ex-girlfriend. This is a wired controller. Cable is two meters long with USB-C connector. And this stick here feels like a mix of a Wii U analog stick and a raised Mega Drive D-pad. The start and select have a nice rubbery feel. And these buttons over here feel like uh, the buttons of a PlayStation 3 pad, albeit much larger. The Neo Geo Mini Pad feels extremely comfortable. It molds in your hands, much like a Mega Drive pad. The shape is pretty similar. There is also the white variation that looks like a Milky Bar. The Milky Bar kid is good and tough. Neo Geo Mini is good enough. The Milky Bar kid, the widest pad. Good death in Milky Bar. I don't care, I like this pad. Rotating to the back of the Neo Geo Mini, we have the HDMI, no, it's a mini HDMI output. When attached to the TV, we can see that there is some sort of distortion. Let's hook it up to the video capture card to see in more detail. There are a few options we can choose from with HDMI out. I'm just gonna cycle through a few now. So these are the best settings that we've found so far. Not very clear, but if we switch smooth filter on, gross. Oh my God. For one of the most prettiest games in the Neo Geo library, King of Fighters deserves nice sharp pixels. If we look closer, there is indeed a bilinear filter present, which blurs the pixels. Beautiful. 
I'd like to swap those like a set of bongos. Let's open this bad boy. Underneath, there are six screws hidden by the rubber feet. We'll just use a small minus driver to peel off the feet and then unscrew. The bottom can then be pulled off. The main thing we want to see is this little button here. With an extra USB-C to USB cable, we can use this guide to hack the Neo Geo Mini and install the custom firmware. With this, we can bolster up the games available on the internal storage and even install more via the USB stick using a USB-C to USB adapter connected to controller port 2. The board isn't powerful enough to play anything past CPS1 or Super Nintendo, but it's great that we can add some of the missing MVS games and even Unibios 4 to our little system. To the pros and the cons. This is a very affordable unit, with 40 games, most of them being some of the best games to hit the arcade, $50 for this box is incredible value. The fine 3.5 inch display showcases some of the finest pixels known to man. For the negatives, when you push the volume, the sound becomes very tinny. With the poor HDMI video output, it is a completely wasted opportunity. Paired with the comfortable Neo Geo Mini controllers, this could have been a permanent fixture to your TV. While the controls are nothing like real arcade sticks, the Neo Geo Mini doesn't pretend to be something it's not. It is a toy, and provided you don't plug it into a TV, it's one that you can actually have some fun with. As always, a quick thank you to all of those on our Patreon. You guys are amazing, and we love you. Not in that way, but yeah, in that way. I would like to say a few words. Sure, go on, buddy. Shenanigans. Okay. Anyway, this has been Evie Chicken of Team Pandori, and I'll catch you on the next one. Oh, like, subscribe, guys. Thank you. Bye.